This video will tell you what is an absolute reference and provide an example to explain how to make and use absolute reference in Excel. An absolute reference is created by adding a dollar sign, dollar, before the column and row references in the formula. Absolute references are useful when you want to refer to a fixed cell or range in a formula that will be copied to multiple cells, but you do not want the reference to change. For example, the range A4, C7 contains products prices, and you want to get the payable tax of each product based on the tax rate in cell B2. When you use formula like equals B5 asterisk B2, some wrong results are returned when you drag autofill handle down to apply this formula. Since the reference to cell B2 will change relative to the cells in the formula. Now, the formula in cell C6 is equals B6 asterisk B3 and the formula in cell C6. But if you use an absolute reference to cell B2 with the formula equals B5 asterisk dollar B2 dollars will ensure that the tax rate stays the same for all cells when the formula is dragged down using the autofill handle. The results are correct. To make an absolute reference in Excel, you need to add dollar signs, dollar, before the column and row references in formula. There are two ways to create absolute reference. Method 1 manually add dollar signs to the cell reference. Method 2 using shortcuts F4 to convert relative reference to absolute. Select the reference and press F4 key to switch the reference types. To make all references in a formula absolute, select the formula and press F4 key to switch the reference types. This part provides two examples to show when and how to use absolute references in an Excel formula. Suppose you have a data range containing the sales of each fruit and the cell B8 contains the total sales amount of these fruits. Now you want to calculate the percentage of each fruit sale of the total. To calculate the percentage of total, you may need to use the sales to divide the sale amount. If you directly use the relative reference in formula, the first result is correct. But when drag the autofill handle down to calculate percentage of other fruits, errors will be returned. Since when you drag autofill handle to copy the formula to cells below, the relative reference B8 is automatically adjusted to B9, B10, and B11. And the cell B9, B10, and B11 are empty. When the divisor is 0, the formula returns to an error. To fix the errors, you need to make cell reference B8 absolute in the formula to keep it from changing when move or copy the formula to anywhere. Then drag the autofill handle down to calculate percentage of other fruits. Assuming you want to look for the names list in D4, D5 and return their corresponding salaries based on the staff names and corresponding annual salary provided in range. If you use the relative references in the formula to look up a value and return corresponding match value. The first result is correct. But when drag the autofill handle down to look up the value below, an error will be returned. Since when you drag the fill handle one row down to copy the formula to the cell below, the reference is A4, B8, becomes A5, B9, and in the range A5, B9, you cannot find Lisa in it, then the formula returns an error. To avoid the errors, Use absolute reference dollar for Australian dollars, dollar B8 dollars to instead of the relative reference A4, B8 in the formula. Then drag the autofill handle down. Whatever you'd type manually or use F4 shortcut, you can only change one formula at a time in Excel.
If you want to make cell references in hundreds of formulas absolute in Excel, the Convert Refers tool of QTools for Excel can help you handle the job with two clicks. Select the formula cells, click QTools tab, and go to Click More in Formula Group, then choose Convert Refers. Then choose the option as you need, and click OK or Apply. Now all cell references of the selected formulas have been converted to absolute.